This week, I challenge you to wear your art around. Create a unique piece of art that you can show off to others by wearing it. Whether it is clothing or accessories, maybe some fun nail art, or kind of tattoos. Express yourself and show people your unique style. I love the Japanese art of paper folding, so I decided to make origami earrings for this challenge. I'll show you how I do that. All right, so what I decided to make is a paper dragon, but they're going to be earrings. So I'll hold this up really close so you can see. Here's my fabulous little earrings. And I also am going to make little leaf earrings. I quite enjoy origami, so this was a really fun thing for me to do to express my love of origami as well as make something that I can wear and show off on special occasions. Okay, because earrings are quite small and it's kind of hard to catch the details, I'm going to make the dragon on a regular sheet of paper as well as a small sheet of paper. That way you can see all the folding I'm doing. And then I smooth everything down with my fingernail. And I like to double check the corners. So we fold it diagonally and then we fold it in half as well. You can do that in any order. Apologies if I have to turn this around. I am doing it upside down for this video, which is a little bit different for me. All right, so when we get it to this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on its side, and then you're going to fold this line the other direction. This needs to be folded the opposite direction of what it was already creased. Before I um, fold it down, I always double check that the lines are nice. So that I don't have a whole bunch of other stuff hanging over. Okay, so what you should see is that there's two sides right here that look like they're going to walk away. When you open this side, you should see a little diamond. Okay, so the next part, you're going to double check that you have it the right direction. So this should be at the top, should have the... Um, two arrows, I guess, if you look. So we're going to go ahead and fold this in towards the center. And definitely do that slowly. Pay extra special attention to the bottom so that you can get a nice clean fold that doesn't get too crinkly and hard. All right, so the next step after this, looking at that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to bend this up. So you wanna pay extra special attention to um, the center here because that's going to decide what your angle is. So when you have it kind of worked up to a spot, because this can get kind of stiff, that you like how it's going out at the angle, that's when you start to press it down. Kind of looks like a chicken wing now. Right, 
so for this side I'm going to make this my dragon's head. With the little dragon it's hard to bend these small pieces for the tail and for the head so what I'm doing is just crinkling it. It helps to nudge it a little bit opposite of its original fold. And if you look here, now it's kind of got a crinkly little tail zooming around there in the background. Alright, the last thing is the dragon wings. Alright, so then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now, I found this design in a YouTube video, so if you find this confusing at all, please just check on YouTube or um, do a regular Google search. And the last thing you do is pull the dragon's back part. And this takes some doing, so please take your time when you get to this step. And you know, play with your dragon because that's fun before it becomes earrings. <laughs> So the last thing you're going to do when making the earring is you're going to take a thick needle and you're going to go from the bottom where there's already a hole and you're going to poke up towards the center. That way you can get the metal through it. And I went ahead and started off with the bead. And then I push that down onto there. And then to match the other one, I'm going to add another two beads. These are my favorite colors. And then I'll need a jump bead. And I'm going to go ahead and take out my pliers and start bending the end of it into a loop so I can see kind of where I need to cut it. And then, oh, wrong direction. And then I'm going to just double check where I have it and cut that off. Fold it down the rest of the way with this little jump bead, jump ring, and loop. And ta da! Now it hangs and flies from my ear. So you can make this into a charm like I just did, or you can just make it into an earring. And then I'll 
hope you can pinch that shut. And there I have my wearable art. Now the last thing I'm probably going to do is glue this little piece down because I don't like how high up his head is going. But I'm going to do that later. And then in order to get this beautiful shiny texture and to keep the paper nice and thick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it with nail polish. So I'm going to get a plastic bag right here so I don't make a mess. And you can do this before or after you add it to your earring post. This one I did before and it looks nice that way, but if you're careful enough, you can do it in either order. And you do want to make sure you get the crevices in between because that nail polish is going to help keep that um, paper, the nail polish is going to help keep the paper stiff. And voila! And then next I'm going to show you how to make this leaf one because I also wanted to do one of these. So what we're going to do is start out by coming from the corner. This piece measures three centimeters um, uh, up and down by six centimeters across. I just estimated in that because I didn't have a ruler. All right, so for this, you're gonna do an accordion. And this is just to um, estimate where all these folds need to be so that you have it pretty precise throughout. And I'm using the center of the paper where I can see the different designs meet up as my guide to of where to fold it. And if you Get to the center and you notice these pieces um, are going the opposite direction I look at how many folds that you've done because you may have the wrong number of folds okay once you get to the center you start to um, push and crease and then as you see eventually you'll get those pieces to match up So once we're there, I'm going to take out that needle again and I'm going to take this little tab and stick it up and I want to put a hole just about there in the center for my little jump rings to go through. And then I will take some glue and put it along the center. Very pretty, huh? I like it. All right, so the last thing to do is go ahead and put that jump ring through the top. I can get it to go. There we go. And then I'll add this one on there. So I like it dangling a little bit lower. And then last but not least, add this. So here's these guys, and here is this. <laughs> here we go, I've got my dragon, he looks pretty adorable, and my leaf. So I'm pretty proud of my creations, I hope you guys are proud of yours too. I can't wait to see them.